It's been a quiet summer at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex. The activity at the Pittsburgh Steelers headquarters has been greatly reduced as COVID-19 restrictions are in place. But across town, the silence has ended. Over the last three months, the team has been moving tons of equipment for training camp. This year, instead of the hour-long trip to St. Vincent College, the Steelers' move was only about a 10-minute drive from team headquarters. In terms of planning for camp, we are, you know, faced with some new challenges, man. We're, we're doing training camp at Heinz Field. We're going to have a hardcore plan, but we're going to be light on our feet. It checks a lot of boxes. The grass surface is great. There's ample space to apply the social distancing guidelines prescribed to us by the NFL. We're excited about doing it at Heinz Field. Hey, you know what time it is? The city of champions. And he's going to get sacked. Let's go! Touchdown, Steelers! The standard is the standard. Well, you know, this year has been a, a very different offseason because we were in the pre-offseason portion where the players could come in and, and they were working and we were starting to get ready for the NFL offseason program when basically um, not only us, but the entire country, maybe the world, got shut down. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf is ordering all non-essential government offices and non-essential businesses statewide to close. County leaders are preparing to tackle the pandemic. A new travel recommendations being put in place. From that point, everything kind of got moved to working from home and keep up with everyone remotely on what they were doing. So it was very, very, very much different than any other offseason in the past. I think when we, we talk about COVID-19, the best thing we had to compare it with was in 2011, we had a lockout. And we had a very short period of time before the lockout ended until we were in training camp. Now obviously, the difference in, and what makes this unique is the coronavirus and the amount of precautions that we must take and try to protect everyone involved in the Steeler organization to get this thing to work. When everything just kind of came to a halt, as far as like staffing and even getting into the building, you know, shipping delays. I mean, it's just been one thing after another that we've had to deal with. It's been a process. We had a number of other events already scheduled and planned out for uh, the spring and summer of uh, 2020. Uh, and as we got through March, uh, things didn't get any better. Things start canceling and rescheduling, let's call it. So it seemed like we were headed down a road that we were gonna have to be making uh, alternate plans for a number of things. Training camp, uh, the season, uh, the, the, the events we had scheduled at Heinz Field, like I mentioned. Sitting down with ownership and coach, um, we came up with the idea and we looked at a lot of sites, but hey, well, let's just do training camp at Heinz Field. For the past 19 years, Heinz Field has been the home of numerous Steelers milestones. Okay, the bus has 10,001 yards. Hard fought victories, Bam! faces of the franchise, and multiple Hall of Famers. It's a place where we honor legends of the past, welcome new talent, and a resurgence of a dominant defense. TJ Watt, it's picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. Look out! Steamrolled by Cameron Hayward. Other than Steelers games, the stadium has played host to countless other events. You know, Heinz Field is multi-purpose. I mean, it's the home of the Pittsburgh Steelers and the University of Pittsburgh Panthers. But, you know, we host a number of other worldwide events. You know, we've had every major touring group come through here that does stadiums. Winter Classic hockey game, and we've done the Stadium Series hockey game. So we use that template somewhat to uh, map out this uh, for training camp and uh, to host the team here. With the implementation of social distancing measures, the Steelers repurposed many parts of the stadium to fit their needs. 
Clubs are now meeting rooms. The weight room is set up in a concourse and all four locker rooms are being used by the players and coaches. The stadium was the obvious choice for training camp because things are centrally located. Everybody's together, but this, the amount of space we have at Heinz Field is immense. In our locker room, it's not just the Pittsburgh Steelers locker room that's being used. And that's where the offense, the offensive coaches will be at. We're using the visiting pro locker room. Where the defense will be at with their defensive coaches. We're using the visiting college locker room. Well, it's connected with the defensive room, so we'll be sharing that space. And to some extent, we're even using the University of Pittsburgh locker room. The lockers are one guy per two lockers, essentially, and uh, it's just a lot of room so that we can space our players out so there's adequate spacing and there's a, an element of safety and distance so that we can better protect not only our athletes but coaches and staff as well. It's nice to be at Heinz Field because we're familiar with our surroundings and setting. This camp is unique for us. We haven't seen these guys, so we have to bring extra stuff, you know. You just have to be ready for all scenarios. The weight room was the most creative one, and that was probably the most challenges uh, we faced. The process of training camp and having a training camp at Heinz Field from a weight room standpoint um, isn't bad at all. This area here from that gate is kind of going to be open. That's why I say this looks kind of like a galley-style kitchen. Racks over here, dumbbells over here. I mean, we have a magnificent space from a, a size standpoint in a veranda style area right outside our locker room. So from a logistical standpoint, it's very easy for the players. We had some great assistance from Torque Fitness and Design Fitness to help with this whole process of laying the flooring, which was an absolute task. Nate Feetner came in, Randy Feetner's son, and, and he was there helping laying flooring down. I mean, it was a massive event to lay down that amount of floor, expediting flooring, expediting equipment. We didn't have to take our racks and try to move them. Everything else is, is, is ready to go, it's set. And we've enclosed that and we've brought proper air conditioning and air movement devices in to, uh, to, ha to handle this. Compared to our other training camp settings, uh, it may be even a little bit better because of the amount of space that we have. While the trainers, equipment staff, and weight room are benefiting from more space, the field crew has to figure out how to do more with less. We only have 90,000 square feet, just a little over two acres, where at St. Vincent we have uh, just over almost five acres. So we have to have it all ready all the time. You know, there, we can't hide an area. We're going to use the whole area. Chris has done and this staff has done a terrific job maintaining this field through this, this hot summer we've had. And uh, it's, it's played perfect out there right now. We were in the hottest stretch in Pittsburgh since 1995. That's really challenging when you're growing cool season grass. We're growing Kentucky bluegrass, so September, October, that's gonna be when this grass really has its, you know, best time. So right now we're just trying to make sure that we uh, reduce all the stress we can. I mean, if it can get back down in the 60s and for the nighttime temperatures, that would help out tremendously. Credit the coach and his staff, they've adjusted. They're gonna use the one field, but they're gonna divide it into different uh, quadrants for the different groups to, to practice in. Yeah, this will be our makeshift tent from training camp where we have all our equipment. Most of these uh, bags will get placed outside on the field depending on where we have the positions at. So um, they'll typically stay out, but any of the soft bags, we try to keep uh, underneath the tent or a covering so that they don't get soaked when it rains. It's gonna be an adjustment uh, for those guys not having as much space. It's a time of change. We all got to do things differently. Um, and I think they'll adjust and handle it well. Through all of the preparation and changes that come with holding training camp at Heinz Field, safety remains at the top of everyone's agenda. To keep our players safe, players and coaches, 
the NFL has put together an extensive protocol. This protocol, in using common sense, social distancing, wearing a face mask, washing your hands frequently, using alcohol-based hand sanitizer, and not coming to work sick. These are things that, even though we have many, many protocols, cleaning protocols, the most important things are the things that we do in our daily lives to protect yourself from COVID-19. Cleaning has always been a priority for me and my staff, but now it's just the frequency of it, you know? We are cleaning every day, numerous times a day, and especially with laundry, um, we have added disinfectants in the wash, in the softener and detergent, so it's just gonna be an all-day cleaning event. From day one, there's been deep cleaning the building on a routine basis. We have sanitizing stations throughout the building. We have proper signage everywhere. We've also changed everything in the building to touchless. All the, the restrooms and wash facilities, touchless. The NFL has purchased contact tracing devices. GPS tracking device. Staff, coaches, players uh, will be wearing it. If anybody contacts them within six feet, it will register that individual has contacted them, how long they've contacted, and how many times that day they've been in contact with that person. So should we have an issue where someone is COVID-19 positive, we can trace that individual. One of the ways you can wear the GPS while you're practicing, this is a wristband, it has a pocket here. You just slide that GPS in and put it on and you're good to go. Technologies change from year to year and you know, we keep up with that. But as far as dealing with uh, COVID right now, the Oakley face shield that came out, it kind of goes at the bottom of your face mask uh, in conjunction with the visor to, you know, decrease the transmission of droplets and, you know, spit or anything like that. One that is not mandatory, it is recommended for right now. You know, as we approach this, the quality of our medical services should be unchanged. We plan on providing the exact same high quality, best medical care available in Pittsburgh, no matter where we're located. As the players and coaches arrive for this year's training camp, they are stepping into a stadium that has been transformed to meet the standards of being a safe and successful environment. Camp is camp, no matter where we have it. I think Heinz Field will be nice for us because we are familiar with it. Coach Tomlin does a tremendous job of preparing the football team to handle adversity, any adversity, and the simple changes of maybe a little bit of venue and what have you. The friendly confines, so to speak, uh, not of Wrigley Field, but of St. Vincent's that we're really acclimated and accustomed to. We're gonna get that way at Heinz and get prepared for the 2020 season. It's gonna be a little different than St. Vincent's. We all look forward to going up to St. Vincent's. You know, Heinz Field's ready. We're geared up, the staff is excited. They've done a terrific job, both in operations on the building side and on the football side. Many members of the Pittsburgh Steeler family contributed to make Heinz Field a new training camp for one year. It's going to be an adventure. COVID-19 has changed a lot of things. It's not normal, but we're gonna make it work. I feel good, coach feels good. I know I spoke with my boss, Art Rooney, um, and he's excited. Um, it's gonna be something different, and it's gonna be an exciting year, a challenging year. Hopefully we're playing football in February.